Good morning and uh, welcome to breakfast time at Mo Man's New Gaff. Yes, I've moved into a new place. I've got a beautiful two bedroom apartment because things are really beginning to move now and um, a little later on after I've finished my breakfast, I'll tell you all about it. So, how does Mo have his breakfast? Well, first of all, we've got to start off with some real proper coffee. Now, normally I would use an Italian mocha and it's um, an espresso maker that you would put on the stove um, and that creates a really strong coffee. At the moment, I've got to use a blend, uh, a press, sorry. <clears throat> now, the reason I can't use my mocha is because this new place has got an induction heater. An induction heater, cooker, stove, only works with certain metals and the metal of my mocha is not compatible with the induction heater so I'm gutted because I absolutely love my mocha so for now we're going to use a press and have a beautiful strong fresh coffee then I always have some juice, I use V8 original vegetable juice or tomato juice. Ooh. But it's a little bit plain for me. So a few splashes of Tabasco sauce. Not to come out. A few. It's not spicy. It's not really for me. A few splashes of Liam Perrins. Some white pepper. What you've got oh, is a wonderfully spicy tomato, carrot and celery juice drink. Super healthy. Then I have a small bowl of cereal, granola. Got to have your nuts, nuts and oats. Um, and crunchy toast. Um, this is a seeded sourdough bloomer um, with a low cholesterol but, uh, margarine on it with a buttery taste. Uh, I do love butter, but um, I do use too much of it, so I've got to stay away from it. And then on one piece, I put some Marmite, and another piece, I put some honey. And actually, what I really like to do is add a splash of honey to my coffee. Because that is actually really delicious. So I'll finish my breakfast and then uh, I'll tell you all about my exciting news. See you in a bit. Breakfast is done and it was gorgeous. Do enjoy a nice breakfast in the morning. Right, so the good news that I wanted to tell you. Um, I'm going to start off with the bad news first. Um, I recently came out of hospital after suffering from pancreatitis one of the most painful experiences of my life. I wouldn't wish it on my worst enemy. It's taken me a good week or so now to finally get back out and running. And I'm not running very far, only a mile and a half. And I'm normally used to running a good seven miles. Um, so I'm slowly kind of recouping my strength, as it were. But the good news is, um, the day I came out of hospital, I moved into a beautiful two-bed luxury apartment with plenty of space. I've now, now even got a studio space. Um, and on Tuesday, um, we're going to be shooting a gorgeous little model, Petite Rouge. So make sure you sign in for that. 
because it's going to be a very cool shoot. We've got three boudoir rooms, two living areas, a kitchen, a shower scene, um, and we've got lots of ideas. We're not going to shoot at once. We've got several uh, shoots that we're going to do with it. Now, the reason um, I'm doing these shoots for free is because they're called test shoots. She wants a portfolio. I need to do test shoots. And the reason I need to do test shoots is because... I have been invited over to Bucharest, Romania to shoot the Bucharest Summit, which is an adult entertainment expo show. It's where all the big fish network have VIP dinners, all the models have fun. And my job will be to take this bad boy and shoot all the sponsors, their teams and the models and have a great time. We will then publish those in Payout magazine. And then I'm going over to Madrid to Euro Awards where I've been nominated Best Glamour Photographer. Fingers crossed I get that award. That would be great news, really great news. So things are moving in the right direction and things are well ahead of projection. I projected last month I was 12 months away. In actual fact, I am actually only six weeks away. So <laughs> it's going to start getting exciting really quickly. I did promise you uh, a drone video. Clearly, I've been a little bit unwell. Plus, I had difficulties with my lower thirds. The person who designed them didn't tell me that Filmora or the lower thirds were not compatible with Filmora. So I've had to learn a new software. So I'm now using Premiere Pro. It's actually not bad, a little bit expensive, but not bad. And it works with the lower thirds, which means these icons here will now work. They won't have a black background, they'll have a transparent background. So we're moving in the right direction. You see my new intro. Um, that's something, a new cool addition to my uh, video. Um, you see my lower thirds, there's my Facebook one. Um, you can follow me now on TikTok, uh, on Instagram, on what else have I got? Twitter, um, or go to my website. They're all there to be seen. Um, please make sure that you check out this next shoot and I'm going to do a few, I think we're going to do three shoots all told. And each shoot normally takes around four hours. They're going to be cool. She is up for some serious boudoir photography. And we're going to be doing lingerie. Uh, you're not allowed to see the naughty stuff unless you go on to uh, Twitter, where I am allowed to post it. Or you go onto my website, again, there's a link, uh, where I can post whatever I want. That is free reign for me. Um, so you can see it all. Uh, but I can't put the naughty bits on YouTube. So please, what I'd like you to do now is uh, to do the usual, uh, like, subscribe, click that bell, and uh, I'll see you in the next shoot. So peace out, guys.